Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another SketchUp lesson. Today, friends, we're going to make a launcher for tiny jets. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one, of course, is to get to SketchUp. If you haven't used SketchUp before, there will be a link below, and I choose Sign In with Google. We're going to hit the down arrow, and we're going to use decimal millimeters for this creation. When this gentleman arrives, let's hit delete and get rid of him. Remember, we're going to use shortcuts all the time. The first one I'm going to mention is O for orbit. And then I'm going to tell you to use R for rectangle. I'm going to tell you to click and let go. And I want you to type 175 comma 40 and press enter. It'll be super tiny, but if you do shift Z, it'll zoom in and you'll be able to see the top of what's going to be our launcher. We need to cut some rectangles into this, so we're going to use the R again. I want you to just click in the middle, and I want you to type 30, 8, and press Enter. Now I want you to go down to the bottom and hit T for tape. Get to the midpoint, and I want you to simply type 5 and press Enter. Friends, now switch to that space bar. Make sure you're clicking those tabs when you go between the movie. We double-click inside here so we've got the whole shape. Hit your M, and we just want to drag it straight along the red axis to that location. We're going to do T for tape measure again, and we're going to come out and find the midpoint. Notice it'll turn teal. It should be at 88. When you get to the midpoint, click. We're going to then do spacebar, double click again, just in case you lost that connection. We're going to do M for move, and this time we're going to grab the midpoint of that rectangle. Tap control so you're making a copy, and then connect it to the middle of your project. T for tape measure. We're going to go down to this point. We're going to type 15 and press enter. We're going to do space bar, double click. Notice mine was already selected, but I just want you to see how double clicking grabs it. Tap control to make a copy. And this one connects right in the front, 15 back. T for tape measure. All right, friends, let's put something in here to make sure we've got these lined up. Make sure you click your tab, T for tape measure. Move to the edge, click and let go move to the front or back middle notice how it turns teal and click and add that guideline now if i do spacebar and i select this shape if it was not in the middle let's say i missed and had it over here i can now grab it and snap it to that exact spot where it's supposed to be remember first it was supposed to be on the middle this way so i'm going to get it to the middle here and then I'm going to go to this edge and make sure as I go up and down, it stays on the middle. I'm going to fix this one up here just in case I had messed up. Notice we can grab it, M for move, and then this one we would grab and just get at that 5 millimeter point. Simple as that. It just gives us an extra guideline to make sure that they are all in a row. Go to this midpoint, and I want you to type 7.5, which is half of that 15. And then I want you to do C for circle get to the middle so notice i start from this middle i go to the line and then our radius we want to type is three and press enter space bar delete 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 and then the awesome push pull and type four and press enter and friends you have just made the top of your rubber band airplane launcher friends at this point i want you to hit t for tape measure don't forget clicking that tab helps a lot so it knows what place you're working from i want you to go from that corner and i want you to move down 10. we're going to do r for rectangle and we need a rectangle that stretches out this way we're typing 162 comma 10 and press and enter Notice it'll go just past this tab, which is pretty darn sweet. Now friends, because we built right here, we are already ready to add this rectangle. Make sure you're on that intersection. And then we need to type 30 comma four and press enter. Notice it'll match exactly with what we built up there. We're gonna erase this line in a minute, but first we're gonna move this space bar, double click, M for move, find the midpoint, tap control and go to this spot. And then we're going to do this corner tab and we're going to go to this spot don't forget to hit control so you get all three of those e for erase and you can boom get rid of that just like that this is going to fit in there perfectly and you built it using the same guidelines all right friends so we want to go from this corner but down below and we want to go five over so t for tape measure and boom we've got that dot we want to go R for rectangle, and this time, friends, we want to type 75, comma, 40, and press enter. Boom, we've just got our handle. E for erase, P for push-pull, 
and lift it up four millimeters. Now friends, we need two of these. So we're gonna do space bar, triple click. So we've got it all selected, one, two, three. See the blue dots everywhere and we're going to group it. We're gonna do M for move and we're gonna grab this corner and tap copy and we wanna move it over here but we wanna use these handles to rotate it so that it uses our cardboard more frugally. And then we're gonna drop it in, and then we're gonna drop it in right there so it prints as frugal as possible. Friends, there you have it. That is a laser cut launcher design for my awesome tiny jet. Now the tiny jets are made in Tinkercad and we need to turn this into a laser cutting file in Tinkercad. Let me run you through those steps real quick. First we hit download and we're gonna download as an STL. Simple step, give it a name. I always put mine in my downloads. This will be called launcher and I'm gonna call this launcher V7 because I have made this more than once. Now that I've got that done, we simply launch Tinkercad. Remember, if you've never used Tinkercad before, I always use sign in with Google. Once we're in, we're gonna hit create new design. Let's call it Launcher V7. And then we hit the import button, choose a file. Remember we put it in downloads, there it is. We keep the measurements. That's the important part of building these is they're gonna be a special size so they all fit together. And friends, that's your laser cuttable design. In Tinkercad, you export for laser cutting as an SVG. If you're in my classroom, we always put it in the STL folder and make sure you put your initials after it. Once you've got that done, friends, it's time to build your laser cuttable jet. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this and these basic skills are starting to click so you're having fun using SketchUp. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp Made Simple. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.